I want to ask both of you in particular, talk to us about the Sunday boxing model. Uh, a lot of folks tend to like it. Uh, this is the second fight that we've seen on a Sunday. He talk to us that. about that. Talk, <laughs> whose idea was that? Uh, I'm not going to sit right here and take the credit for that. Um, that was a team effort, I would like to say. You know, uh, Leonard, as, as well as uh, Al, and some other individuals, we talked about it because Super Bowl is on a, on a Sunday. A lot of award shows is on a Sunday. The NBA All-Star is on a Sunday. So we said, you know what? Let's roll the dice and do something different. Let's go, let's go on a Sunday. And a lot of people, are, you know, a lot of people are at home. A lot of times on Saturday, a lot of people at nightclub because most people that work at nine to five want to enjoy the Friday and the Saturday. But Sunday, everybody's at home. You, gotta, you can sit down, you know, and, and enjoy the festivities and, and, and enjoy the, the main event. Talk about competing with the NFL on Sunday. You guys are going to compete with the Chiefs, I believe. We, we, once again, no, we don't got to tell you, say that. We're never competing with anybody. When you when you in your own zone, you don't got to compete with nobody. I'm, I'm never competing with nobody. I never try to compete with nobody. For us, um, who was the best in the sport of boxing? I just went out there and did what I did. Floyd, 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 Floyd with a, a lot of upsets going on in boxing, just being on top of the game of boxing, how do you stay motivated? Well, you have to give me an example. When you say a lot of upsets, uh, like, name a lot of upsets. Teofimo Lopez and uh, Cambosas was a big upset. Name some more. Um, Anthony Joshua and Usyk. That was not an upset. Oh, it wasn't? I mean, when you got a, two guys with so much experience, like I said before, mm -hmm. you got guys with two, two guys. It's just that Anthony Joshua was on TV. And everybody's seen him. And Usyk was a hell of a, fight, a hell of a fighter, a gold medalist, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, damn. Yeah. yeah, but he was behind the scenes. Two yeah. guys with with a crazy amateur backgrounds, mm -hmm. and one guy is not being seen, and another guy is being seen. Then we call it a, uh, we call it an upset. No, it's just that um he was working behind the scenes, mm -hmm. and another guy who was working in front of everybody. Then finally they had to meet up, and then um. Anthony Joshua came up short, but Anthony Joshua, um, I told him from the beginning. You know, I, I was one of the first guys to come on record I, I, from the beginning. I told him he can come, and I can teach him some pointers. Um, because a lot of times, just this is just my take. The same coach you had as an amateur doesn't always make him a great professional coach. Because some guys are great at amateur coaching, and some guys are great at professional coaching, and. and even like my dad, I feel like my dad was the best as a professional because he was teaching me when I was the amateur, he was teaching me uh, like a professional. So, you know, like I said, I, I'm going to always speak the real whether somebody like it or not. I just feel like Anthony Joshua, uh, they keep going They keep going to different coaches. Oh, this coach going to work with him. This coach going to work with him. I told him in the, in the beginning when he was undefeated, you got some things you still got to tweak because if you don't, then you may come up short.